Hi darling, welcome back. I can't even believe we arrived to the end of this Christmas video fast. Um, yeah, today is Christmas Eve. If you didn't know, most European countries celebrate like or exchange presents really um, on Christmas Eve. So tonight on the 24th and on the next days, we usually just visit, um, you know, other family members such as grandparents or cousins and such. So that's why I decided this will be the last video probably I will post this year. So yeah, no new videos till new year probably because um, I really have to focus on some other stuff. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to have this little YouTube thing for you guys to have something to enjoy in the Christmas break because I know a lot of you um, finally have some break from the school, um, from work and from basically just everyday life. So yeah, I just wanted to give a little, I don't know, 10 minute little video each day and yeah so i thought about what video i should have and you know previous years sometimes i made special christmas videos doing something special but yeah i don't know um i just figured we can just do a regular match because yeah i don't know i didn't really have many ideas and i feel like what i wanted to do i did last year's i will try to link um as little cards on this video what i had um made past years so you can check those out if you want to see something special from me but yeah i still try to remain in theme so it's Leo's memory the winter map um i was thinking if we should use the you know the santa skin but you know that's more santa and yeah for us like in europe santa is like on december 6th like that's when um smaller children get presents from santa claus so yeah for us it's not really santa bringing the presents um on the 24th or the 25th so yeah that's why it's just all over the place for me but regardless i just still wanted some winter themes so yeah here we have my favorite a skin i would say from jojo on this beautiful winter map in high graphics and yeah this match actually clearly showcases why it's not really a good idea in every situation to like have multiple supports for one kiter because later on you will see how better and cheerleader will be supporting postman to kite and lawyer will be the only one decoding and you will see how this actually turns out um to be a bad decision for the team in this situation so i i figured that for hunters such as Joseph and maybe Hermit who can prolong decoding progress and just make decoding fast uh, like uh, you know longer take longer for the survivors or uh, hunters like Galatea or Bonbon who have chip damage and they can just injure more survivors at once like in those situations against those hunters it might not really be the best idea to team up and kite together maybe two or three of you as survivors because I just had a match as survivor this morning um, where you know these two characters try to support one other character and in the end they just all got down because the hunter was Galatea and you know everyone got hit slowly one chip damage one chip damage and it really adds up so like you won't even notice but the support characters will be like almost down by the time you know they could um do something or or you know like even save the the person so this means that only like one person will be full health who is the decoder so yeah and and in this match of course you can see how um usually here when like two people are supporting one you you usually should focus on one of the harassers for so for me in this situation i try to down cheerleader because of course she was just all around me and trying to run around me and better as well and well i don't even remember if um these survivors had badges or, or something but regardless they did their job nicely and if i was an un any other hunter who didn't really have this uh, prolonged decoding then maybe this strategy would have worked perfectly but as you can see here i try to bait the batter's balls because i know um he only has the three so i want him of course to use each and every one here you can see me destroy this one and then i like i destroyed one earlier and this is his last ball, which he attacked me with when I tried to take a picture. So I just immediately stopped because, you know, of course, he stunned me out of it. I stopped taking the picture. I didn't even go back and just went to chair the cheerleader. Now that I knew, better cannot do anything to me because he has no balls left. This is why it's very important to destroy their items if you can, of course, if you have time and if it wouldn't cost you like a down. So, for example, this situation, I managed to force out those balls from better and I just basically made him useless 
um, with this action because now he has to save he can't really stun me in any sort of way and he can't even get his balls back because it's not rechargeable as opposed to like you know prospector has the the magnets which are which, are, which recharge over time so here exactly is the moment that, that saved me kind of, not even saved, but like decided the match for good because I managed to terror shock their only full head character, their only full head teammate and better was down, cheerleader was almost flying and I noticed the other side were shaking in the background so I knew only postman was here to try to save. I really thought there he just, you know, decided to run away because the chair was almost over but then, and I tried to, you know, carry the batter to his own chair but then I noticed the postman freaking coming back so I immediately drop batter and I come back to just make sure the postman won't save then I quickly card tricked back to the batter and thankfully I could make it to the next chair before he struggled free so yeah that that basically that terror shock kind of like wrote the loss for their part fixed because you know if he didn't get terror shock they had a chance to even you know because they don't have a doctor so it's pretty rough to get out of a situation where every survivor is injured um, against Jojo but still like you know they have one cypher left so they had a chance maybe at a tie but better got the terror shock so that kind of decided it for for sure that it will lose so yeah this is why it's not really always a good idea to team up and, and kite multiple um, characters at once leaving only one decoding for example if maybe the cheerleader or the better went to decode then maybe the you know the cyphers would have popped by the time i terror shock the the rescuer so yeah we can obviously cannot be sure what would have happened but yeah this is just a little warning or tip for you if you're a hunter main and if you main one of those hunters that i listed like the ones who can prolong decoding progress and the ones who have chip damage like you can just throw the bombs around the, the one you chase and everyone will slowly get injured and downed so that's how you can kind of get rid of the harassers or always just if they are really really focused on protecting one single person then i would just say to focus on someone else focus on the other one who's like maybe running behind them this is something that doctors tend to do like to try to body block the kiter and that's always that, that's if that's the case i just kind of go for that person who tries to body block because you know they are just kind of off guard they think like oh they the hunter will surely follow up on their target but no you you just pull the unpredictable and go for one of the harassers instead so yeah that's just a basic little i don't know revelation i can share with you for christmas as a christmas present from me and look at the irony in the end the one character that can escape is the postman who like everyone else was trying to protect so yeah, it's just a little, I don't know, ironic if you ask me. But yeah, as we get closer and closer to the end of the video, I just want to wish you, all of you guys, um, happy holiday season if you celebrate Christmas or, or something else. Just hope you can spend this time in peace and in happiness with the ones you love the most. I really wish you get the presents you wanted the most and you will find joy in giving presents as well. Presents as well. I yeah, I really hope you will have a wonderful time because yeah, it's been a rough few years now and let's hope 2024 will be better than the past few years. All right, um, this is all from me. As I promised, I will put the little previous Christmas videos I have up there in the information button, like recommended videos from me. So yeah, you can check those out if you want to see something more festive or more special than a normal match. But yeah, I just hope this was at least a little information I could give you. Yeah, all right. Thank you for watching and I wish you all a Merry Merry Christmas. All right, goodbye.